Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the carousel storage system and its technology. So let's get into this video. A carousel storage system consists of a series of a bins or a baskets used for the transferring or storing of the materials into it. It has a overhead chain conveyor that revolves around a long oval rail system as we see in the picture long overhead rail system it carries a bins used for the storage and transferring of the materials it has a conveyor system used for transferring it the purpose of the chain conveyor is to position the bins at the load and unload station at the end of the oval most carousels are operated by a human worker located at the load and unload station the human workers are uh, used to load and unload the station when the uh, particular bin is to be uh, taken or unloaded the bin is uh, moved by a human worker or by an electric motor then it comes to the load or unload station the human worker take it and place it on the conveyor and the conveyor transports the material so carousel can be classified into horizontal and vertical the more common horizontal configuration uh, has uh, sizes from 3 meter to 30 meter length. Carousels at the upper end of the range have high storage density but the average access cycle time is greater. Then horizontal carousel storage system as we seen in this picture. The structure is a welded steel framework and it carries the bins. The carousel can be either an overhead system or a floor mounted system. The pulley system is placed at the top of the framework so that it can uh, the bins are suspended from the trolleys. The trolleys can be moved by this type of uh, pulley system, motorized pulley system. In the bottom driven unit, the pulley drive system is mounted at the base of the frame and the trolley system rides on the rail in the base. Here we see this is the conveyor load or unload station a person is standing and he operates the machine the bins uh, in which the material is stored then vertical carousel the vertical carousels are constructed to operate around a vertical conveyor loop for a vertical carousel there is a minimum floor spaces needed but in horizontal carousel system large uh, length or floor space is required because it is very large but in in case of the vertical carousel the height of the uh, room or factory is important because it is a vertical unit. They occupy much less floor space than the horizontal configuration but require sufficient overhead space. The ceiling of the building limits the height of the vertical car carousels. Then this is the picture of the vertical carousel system as we seen in this, this part only. Vertical carousel. The ceiling is very important in this type of vertical carousel. Then computer control carousel. It can automatically automatic handling system without the need of the human participation in the load or unload operations because it is very accurate in its function and automatically loads and unloads the uh, materials efficiently. This is the advantage of the computer carousel. So what are the applications? Storage and retrieval operations, transport and accumulation and work in process. So these are all the applications. So this is a short video friends if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching